Welcome, welcome back and I need help at Cisco. In this example, we need to find the limit when x approach infinity of x minus square root of x squared plus 1. If we replace x with infinity, we get something that is called an undefined form. We have infinity minus infinity. So how are we going to solve this limit? Limit when x approach infinity of x minus square root of x squared plus 1. We're going to rewrite the expression uh, given in a fraction form. So we're going to have x minus square root of x squared plus 1 over 1. And then I'm going to rationalize the numerator. And for that reason, I'm going to use the conjugate of a given expression. So you're going to have x plus square root of x squared plus 1. Don't forget to put the same expression down as a denominator. Now, if you notice, this is nothing else than the number 1. So, yeah, it's okay. We, we That is a true statement. The equality sign is okay here. So then we have equals limit when x approach infinity. Now, whenever you multiply the numerators, that is a special pattern, a minus b times a plus b, it's a difference of square, and that is a square, so in this case would be x square, minus b square, so in this case is going to be x square plus 1, because if we square the square root, we cancel out the square root. And for the denominator we have 1 times x plus square root of x squared plus 1. We can do some simplification here. So limit when x approach infinity of x squared minus x squared minus 1. And for the denominator we just multiply by 1 so it stays the same x plus square root of x squared plus 1. And in this moment, you notice that these two x squared cancel out. So we have limit when x approach infinity of negative 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1. And if you notice here, once x is getting larger and larger, this is a quotient. So the x is going to get closer and closer to 0. And that is the final answer limit when x approach infinity of x minus square root of x squared plus 1 is 0. You can notice that in the picture you see here, one, once x is getting larger and larger, this uh, function is getting closer and closer to the x-axis, which is y equals 0. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.